Hey guys, hey, welcome back to my channel, Natural China Doll here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you five different bun hairstyles. So stick around, watch, and let's get into it. So right now, I'm just taking my bristle brush and I'm spraying it with a little conditioner and water in my spray bottle. And I'm just going to brush my hair back into a nice sleek ponytail. I'm trying not to be too harsh and tugging it too much because I don't want to be too aggressive with my edges because you know ladies we love the edges <laughs> and I'm trying to make sure it's nice and sleek I'm trying to brush everything up keep it all together if you guys haven't noticed by now that big frizz ball that's a lot of hair right there <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna put the brush down and brush it all in the ponytail use my hands after a while make sure it's not too tight make sure it's not too loose just right <laughs> booty locks and three beers I'm just gonna make sure everything is all brushed together so then I'm going to take my scrunchie and I'm just going to tie it around. I tie my scrunchie around three times, sometimes two, so that I know the ponytail won't be too tight and too aggressive to my edges. And I'm just making sure that everything is nice and put together. And I'm just going to like, you know how like you tighten your ponytail a little bit, just to make sure it's good. I'm going to take my eco styling gel, move from back of me. <laughs> and I'm just going to take my hair and just turn it all together, nice little bun. It doesn't have to be neat and it doesn't have to be perfect. There are such things, ladies, as and men, as a messy bun. Man bun, woman bun. I'm just gonna take that and put my put it all inside my scrunchie. Take my brush again, brush away the little flyaways, make sure everything's nice and sleek. Take my toothbrush or my edge brush and my eco styling gel, olive oil, and I'm just gonna put a little bit on there. Make sure that my little edges or my baby hairs, as you like to call them, as I like to call them. Just make sure that they're nice and sleek. Yeah, you see those coming together? I take really good care of my edges because what lady does not like her edges to be on fleek and popping? So I'm just going to do my edges a little bit. Make sure it's nice and sleeky like my hair. Sleeky, fleeky. And I'm just going to make sure it's all good. Then I'm going to take, um, make sure that my little flyaways or I don't know what to call these. I'm not going to call them my sideburns because they're not my sideburns. I'm just going to make sure I have like a little little flyaways frame in my face. And this is, everything's all sleek. And this right here is style number one, and it is the top knot. So cute. So I'm going to take this all down, and I'm just going to go to style number two. Look at that. Look at all that hair. <laughs> just swinging it. I whip my hair back and forth. Hmm. So cute, so cute. Wow. You guys see Christopher just laying like that in the background? He just looks so, so dead. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm just going to take it all down. Oh, yeah, this was, yeah, I was struggling. My hair got caught in a ponytail holder. That was a struggle, you guys. That was a struggle. It hurt so bad. I'm not tender-headed, but at some point, it really still does hurt. But good thing I don't have, like, those little metal pieces on my scrunchies. So, style number two. I'm going to take my wild tooth comb and I'm just going to make sure that I have a nice, clean, sleek part going down my scalp. And I'm just going to separate my hair into two sections. When females separate their hair into two sections, you guys already know what's going to happen. Ninja buns. <laughs> so I'm going to take my spray bottle and I'm going to spray my brush again. And I'm just going to make sure that my hair is nice and slick back. I tend not to put too much gel into my hair itself. Because um, after a while, Eco Styling Gel, no matter what you do, or no matter what you partner it up with in your hair, water, shea moisture, it will still leave flakage. And I think after I finish this video, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to go wash my hair probably. So I'm just going to tie it all up. Make sure it's nice and tight, but not too tight. Like I said, don't want to be too harsh on my edges. And I'm going to do the same thing to the opposite side. Look at that. That's a lot of hair. Looking like Harley Quinn if I would have dyed my hair pink and blue. <laughs> oh, the jokes. So, yeah, I'm just going to tie that into my ponytail three times. Three times is the shot. Three times is the most I will go if I'm, like, tying my hair up like this. Just getting all the little extra pieces out. And I'm just going to take my bun. I'm just going to tie it around, wrap it around each other. It's like a giant bantu knot. Just wrap your hair around each other or around itself until it stays. I'll put a bobby pin in it some days, some days I won't. But it all just depends. So, doing the same thing to the opposite side again. Just make sure that my hair wraps around itself. Making it all nice and neat, nice and neat. 
And then that is my ninja buns. Or those are my ninja buns. They look so cute. Same thing as before. Make sure that my edges are on fleek. I'll take my bobby pin. And I'll make sure that the puffy parts of my hair are pinned down. So it won't look too goofy or too doofy. Just make it look nice. Again with the toothbrush. And just make sure that my edges are on fleekity fleek. I spend too much time on my edges. Get my little flyaways back down to frame my face. And that's style number two. My ninja buns. That's so cute. And it's going to ruffle them down. <laughs> Look like a little kid. I like a 12 year old. I wonder. People tell me that all the time. I like a little 12 year old. But I think it's so cute. I'm just going to take out my ponytail holders. And I'm going to go for style number three. I hope it doesn't get stuck this time. Ugh. The struggle is real. Ladies, big hair, don't care. Remember that. This is... this. Hmm, how long would I have my hair like this? This twist out lasted a while, though. I like it. But style number three. <laughs> I'm so goofy. I'm going to part my hair into one section. That one little part right there. Make sure that you guys finger detangle. Like I said, I don't use my wild to my white tooth comb all the time. Like just in case I don't need it. Like the parts didn't have to be like neat. It could have it could have been messy. It could have not been messy, but the parts really didn't have to be neat. See, like right here, this part, it wasn't it it I didn't get all the way through. So I took my white tooth comb and I just like neat like straightened it up just a little bit to clean it up. So now that my parts are together, just make sure that I have all my hair back. Trying to pin it back in a little bun. And I'm going to spray my brush again with my leave-in and water. Got a little gel on the brush. So I'm just going to brush my hair up into a nice little sleek bun in the front. If This is my go-to style. If I have perm rods in my hair, if it's an old twist out, a new twist out, this is, this, this is one of my go-to styles. Half up, half down hairstyle. So I have like the little ninja bun in the front, and then I have the back all the way out. Even though like as I'm putting my hair up in a ponytail, it looks crooked. Because the ponytail holder isn't too tight and it isn't too loose, I can like shift it as much as I want to so it could like go into the middle of my head. So like you see I just like twist like pull it over to the middle and I just twist my hair around itself. It's so cute. Just twisting like just twisting like just twisting. And it's like a little mini bantu knot, or if Mark if Mark uh, Mark Jacobs would say it, um, what is it? A little mini twisted bun. <laughs> Take my bobby pin and just pin it up, just so I know it's secure and it won't come out. Take my hair out of the ponytail, hold it in the back, and I just fluff it out. Fluff it out. Fluff it out. Fluff it out. Fluff, fluff it out. This is style number three. I'm so weird, you guys. If you haven't noticed by now, <laughs> I'm just fluffing it all out, making sure it's all good. So style number four, I'm just going to take all my hair down from, from the previous style three. And just, when you're taking your hair out the buns, just like a bantu knot, untwist it in a direction, in the opposite direction of what you twisted it in, so it won't get tangled. I'm just going to take it out the ponytail. I think this one I twisted um, four times around the ponytail holder, just because it was like a less grade of hair that I pulled. So style number four. If, yeah, if you guys haven't noticed, that right there, that's my permanent part. I have worked over the years to make sure that I had a permanent part. But make sure it's all untangled. Didn't need the comb again. Like I said, I barely use the comb to make my parts. And I'm just going to take this section right here, spritz it with a little bit of water and conditioner. She's all dripping. <laughs> make sure that, that little part right there is saturated. I'm going to take a little bit of my Eco Styling Gel, olive oil, and put it right there on the base of my scalp. And then I'm just going to rub that in. Take my bristle brush and just flatten it out a little bit. Make sure it's nice and sleek. And I'm going to do a flat twist. If you guys would like a tutorial on my flat twist, just let me know in the comments down below. I'm not really good at it, but if you guys still want to see a tutorial, I'll give you one. I'm still a, um, a work in progress when it comes to flat twists. I can only do two, or like that one little one that I'm doing right now. I can't do more than that. So I'm just going to flat twist my hair, going to the back. Just making sure that I don't tuck too hard. Making sure I have no tangles. Because, yeah, like I said, I'm not tender-headed, but it still hurts some days. 
And I just twisted halfway and then bobby pin it. A little bobby pin. I stay losing bobby pins. I had two 50 packs of bobby pins. And why do I only have about like 15 left? Lord only knows where they went. So I'm just going to take my hair out the ponytail, hold it in the bag. And I'm just going to brush everything. Making sure that it's not too tight. I'm not tugging on my edges. Making sure that it's all coming together. It looks so nice. It's just, and this one is going to be like my sleek low bun. Just making sure it's all nice and in the ponytail. I say sleek a lot, apparently. But just making sure that the, um, the bun is nice and sleek. And it just looks nice and classy. Like, this is the type of hairstyle that you can wear to a job interview. You can wear to the gym if you want to go. Like jogging, biking. Just anything that has to do with sports. This is the type of hairstyle that you can wear. Um, and just twist it all up. That's a lot of hair. Making sure that it's nice and going around. Twisting it around itself. Making sure it stays. And I'm just going to take my ponytail holder and just tie it around. Making sure it's all together. Making sure that all the flyaways are down. And it looks super cute. Making sure I get the edges always, of course. And I'm trying to train my edges so it's like I won't have to do them all the time. And they could just like lay there flat like that. Making sure I have my flyaways to frame my face. And just making sure it's nice. That little sleek bun. That's so cute. Like I said, you could wear it to a job interview. Nice little outing, get together. So cute. So then, last but not least, I'm going to have style number five. But before that, let me just take down my hair. Looking like an exotic mermaid. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Sorry if my voice sounds funny, you guys. I'm trying to, like, get over a cold. This Jersey weather got me all messed up. It's hot one day, it's snowing the next day. Go figure. I got so much hair on me, just trying to get it all off. Just taking down a flat twist. I see all that hair on me, you guys. <laughs> then I had the nerve to wear a white sweater. Taking down a flat twist. Detangle a little bit, making sure it's not all, you know. So I'm just going to take that comb because I can't really see, like, what I'm parting right there. But I'm just going to take my comb and make sure that I separate my hair nice and neatly. I'm going to do the same thing to the opposite side. Yeah. See that comb? I don't always use a comb, but I use them when necessary. Making sure that I don't pull too much of my hair. I like the girl from the ring. Like I'm coming out of the well. Just making sure that all my hair comes out of my ponytail. Don't want to get anything confused. My hair in the back just would not cooperate. It kept getting caught into like what I wanted to do in the front. You see, I had to keep starting over. Making sure that my parts was nice and neat. And I couldn't put like another ponytail holder behind like to grab the rest of my hair. Look at that. It looked like the ring. Because I only have like what two ponytail holders as you can see. I lost the other ones. But I'm just going to tie my hair off. I tied it once. Twice. Three times. A four. And a fifth. And the reason why I tied it so much is because, like I said, that's a less grade of hair going inside the ponytail. And I just want to make sure that, like, it's not too loose with the three loops that I did on the previous hairstyles. Once. <laughs> Let me just get a different angle. Wrap it around once. Twice. Three times. Four times. Make sure it's nice and even and tight. I don't I don't part my hair going straight down the middle because I'm gonna wait and tell you guys like a story time video of why I don't part my hair down the middle. But I have like this small ball spot right in the middle of my scalp. Um as soon as I do like a straight back part, you can just see all like a big patch right there where my hair was supposed to be. But I'm going to, like, comment down below if you guys want to have a story to, um, hair story time video on why I have that ball spot right there. Because it's, it's not funny. It's sad because I was in the second grade when it happened. But it's not an insecurity that I have anymore because I still have, like, a lot of hair to cover it. But my parts, that's, you see my hair falling down because I didn't bobby pin it. <laughs> Such a goofball. But, yeah, that part right there, that's my permanent part. I trained my hair to have that permanent part right there. Make sure I absolutely grab my bobby pins so it won't happen like the first button come out. I got to redo that one. 
and just twist it around itself like a little mini twisted bun <laughs> little bantu nut and then I'm just gonna take my bobby pin again make sure I put it together I'm trying to get it out the pack make sure that I bobby pin it in place so it doesn't come out and just take the comb out and just fluff my hair just fluff my hair and fluff my hair and that is style number five and it's so super cute I love it but I, I'm gonna end this video here you guys and I'll talk to you later hope you guys enjoy the five bun tutorials that I provided for you guys if you have any comments or questions you could comment down below if you have any particular tutorial that you would like like a tutorial on how i two and twist it then comment down below like this video and subscribe and i will try and make a video all my equipment you guys is coming in the mail as we speak i'll have new lights because this natural light thing is not working right now so i have new lights and i'll finally have a tripod for my phone until i get a camera so, yeah, any questions or comments down below, hit that comment box, like this video, and subscribe. Natural China Doll is out. Love you guys.